Hey guys, today I'm going to share a experience with you. Um, I didn't want to actually make these emails public mainly because they did hire me for very, for $20 to do your sponsorship. This is Magic Duels. So I will pay I use my own money to buy these coins and make these videos. And the day I purchased 300 and 3750 coins or the 2495 option they deleted all my decks uh, not only did they delete my decks they deleted my they pseudo deleted my account i couldn't connect on a server and this was a issue for many people for a long time at least for ios where the game was pretty much dead so imagine paying money for these coins and then you could not use the coins. So you can see the date on this was 09-19-2015. This should give you a very good idea of what Magic Arena customer service will also be like. So I'm just gonna read you this and they did, they did respond. Uh, my account is MTG Lion. I have a YouTube channel. I was making videos promoting duels to my subscribers when the whole thing crashed mid game, which is true. I paid for the $24.95 coin option today. I no longer have any decks. I hate to make a bad video about duels. I hope this can be fixed soon. So they respond back, uh, support agent, and unlike the investigators, they actually have names. Hello, Tony, thank you for contacting us and we apologize for the issues you are having. Can you please reply back with the customer ID and a copy of your Steam iTunes purchases? You can find the customer ID in the game under helps and option. Customer service, it's a 16 digit. Here's the crazy part. They know the game is broken and they want me to find my customer ID. But for me to find my customer ID, the game has to be working. I have to access a server. So I gave them all the stuff. Um, I gave them the iTunes and I told them I couldn't do the custom ID in the next message. And here, they're, they're still advertising this whole time. They have an FNM promo banner going on. They have, hey, can you click out this, click on this questionnaire? I just want, you know, I just want it to be working. I paid for the game. I paid iTunes. I did have a re receipt, which I sent them. And it's so astounding, like... I was, I was paid to promote the game and I used my own money to buy more coins, so $25 of my own money, and then as soon as I was going to make videos on it, it just crashes and burns and customer service is telling me to find my customer ID number, which they know I cannot find. It's like a delay tactic. The reason they know I cannot find it is because I can't get on the server. Then they mark the problem as solved. So I said, I'm not sure why my last question was marked solved when it wasn't. I sent Eric the information he requested, including screenshots of not being able to log in, the receipt for the purchase, and the fact I don't have a customer ID. I'm attaching them here too. So you can't actually see the attachments, but I do that. So not only is the problem, so not only do they are they ignoring me by marketing, marketing, marking the problem as solved? Literally, like they shouldn't know what's going on. I mean, you have magic duels. It's not working for a long period of time. The server is down. Yet you can still, the only thing you can still do in this game is buy coins and be advertised to. to. Uh, now the game itself is a giant advertisement for new players. That's fine but i'm talking about like fnm advertisements so you have you have this back and forth back and forth and like you know i just want the game to be working so i can make content at the time and you would figure like it would be in their best interest to get the game working again so these content creators can promote it for you for free or relatively free but uh that's not what they want to do uh, they want to delay lie some more they understand what's going because I on because I can't be the only one. Everyone with an iOS device at this time cannot log into the game. It's dead. The game's gone. 
Okay, so hi Tony, thank you for getting back to us. Unfortunately, it appears as if we are having connection issues. This is the next day with our servers that are supporting many iOS devices. We are aware of this issue and working as hard as we can to get it fixed. I will send you information to the teams currently working on it. Uh, your customer ID will show as blank until our servers are back and running. This is a problem on our end and not your end when you can access the servers again if you could reply to this email with your customer ID. So this is on the 20th. Um, it's down for a while and also provide the estimate of how many total boosters you had opened and the amount of unspent gold on the account. We will get that restored for you. When an incident is marked solved, it simply means that we have responded to the incident, not that the incident has been solved to completion. I understand why this can be confusing and we'll let our internal teams know about the confusion this tends to cause. All right, do I believe this like paragraph? I don't know. Like, so they mark, so the customer looks at the thing, it says solved. Now they're telling me the definition of solved is not that they solved it, but to completion, as they said, but they responded. Wouldn't that mean respond? Why is that marked as solved when it should read as respond, right? Like, wouldn't the customer get really confused? It makes, like, n none of this makes any sense. I didn't want to bring this to public, the, the dialogue, because I was sponsored. They gave me 20, and you can see advertisement. They keep hitting me with ads this entire time. Like all these email chains have the same F and M ad, like just all over the place. And the iOS app, it's just ads. Like literally you cannot play magic. Your decks are gone. Your collection is gone. And all there is is apps and the ability to buy coins, which you can't use because you need to be on the server to open the booster packs. All right, here's a phone number, by the way. Oh, interesting, right? They had phone numbers during the investigation. So I, you know, I, I, well, at some point, I was just like, F it. You know, I'm going to expose them for what it is. Uh, I have some other emails chains about counterfeits and things of that nature. I have to frame them correctly because I know that people will be offended, and I wasn't very nice to them because, again, I spent so much time with them. I spent hours and hours on the phone with uh, the legal of, at the time was a female, and then the guy who was Hasbro. So like, uh, at some point I was getting really frustrated that they kept asking the same dumb questions and it was over and over again. So this is customer service and it is terrible. Like. A, they told me to find a customer ID, which they know I cannot find. B, they tell me that some a problem is resolved when resolved actually means responded to. I, I don't see how that's great for the customer. And lastly, oh, here I said, okay, here it is, uh, apologies. Well, I guess this is the original email on the 19th and we're gonna cycle again. So I'm gonna rant a little bit during this portion. I don't really understand what's going on. How do you launch a game? It's down for multiple weeks. And you're gonna see when I get my coins back, they didn't tell me, hey, we're up again, here's your coins. And I asked for 7,500 because remember, I was given coins and then I also bought coins. So it wasn't just the coins I bought. So not only did they, uh, now, so okay, not only was this game down for so long, and not only was it like very confusing what was resolved or not, they gave me half of what I, what I was expecting to get and what I wanted to get, which I thought was fair because they, again, deleted my entire collection slash my decks. And they gave me half, like 7,500 coins at the time was probably even less than what I had, cause you earn booster packs and you earn, so Magic Arena is the same system. It's uh, pay to win, just like Fire Emblem. You don't need to pay money for Fire Emblem, but if you want those characters, yeah, you gotta pay a little bit of money. Sometimes a lot of money. But here, it's the same system. I'm sure you guys are familiar with it. And they took away my collection. They, they deleted everyone's collection. I, I don't know how else to say it. There was no collection when I returned. And I was like, oh. Okay, what do I want? What do I want? 
I don't know. It's, um, I mean, this is Wizard of the Coast customer service at its best. Uh, they actually had names. They had phone numbers. Today, they don't, the investigation team doesn't have a name. They just call themselves investigation team. They don't have phone numbers, obviously, for, you know, and that would be troublesome for them. But this was in 2015 when I was still a little more positive about magic. And then I just realized, oh my gosh, the people running this is just like, and again, this was after a long email chain with the counterfeit incident. And I just like, wow, some of these responses are like unbelievable. Like, why would they, why would they tell you to go find something they know that you cannot have because the server is down? A customer ID number, which they know you cannot find. Then why would they mark it as resolved? And then clearly it was resolved because then the next person who talked to me was someone different. It wasn't the dude anymore. He, he was gone. Zach was gone. Then they hit you with all these advertisements like on the emails, these F and M ads and questionnaires and like, you know, I just want this game to be working. This game I paid money towards. And as soon as I bought the coin pack, they deleted my account. I mean, I don't know how else to say it, except I was not made whole. I was not given the amount of coins that I wanted to be given. So the compensation, as you're going to see from, you know, this email is, so I asked for 7,500 coins because it's not just the coins I purchased with my $24.95. It was another batch of coins I purchased with the money they gave me. And it was like other booster packs. It's still very early on the game. So I'm going to just say there wasn't that many boosters I earned, but there was still an amount that I paid for. So uh, thank you for your patience while we sorted out the iOS connectivity issues. Look at the date on this. This is, so we were in nine, which is mm, August, September. And now we're in December. This blanking thing has been down for three months. Three months and then the quote, you know, and then I'm sorry to hear about your progress law. They call it progress. I mean, no, those are my booster packs in my collection that you took away. To make up for the lost coins, I granted $37.50, which is how much the $24.95 to your account. And while we relish honest feedback and are genuine and trying our best to solicit it regularly, it is also disheartening to hear that we miss. This is just blah, blah, blah jargon. Your comments here are about the weight involved in the fix have been noted and will be passed up to our appropriate team. This thing took three months, 90 plus days, 90 plus days. Are you blanking kidding me? And all I get is my original coins back. Not even, I get half of my original coins. I said, okay, so on the 10th, I said, hello, customer support. I'm requesting, so this is, I finally found my ID and if for the reason and this is the reason I put it. So on September 20th, so on July, the dude was like, hey, dude, make me some videos. And I was like, cool. Um, and then on September 20th, I was like, okay, I'm gonna use my own money to buy coins. And then on the same blanking day, they deleted my account, as well as my rank and my quote, progress. So all my progress was deleted. And then I was told I needed a customer ID, which I couldn't get because server was down. And I found my customer ID after the server was up December 10th. So this game was non-functional for 90 days and as a reward for being so patient and you know putting my money in, I just got coins. Not even I was not even I lost all my progress. And they gave me the coins for the 2495. Which then I funnel right back into I you know, I mobile games are not good for me. So obviously at this point I should have quit, right? And just forgot the game. But I, you know, I've spent the coins clearly. Um, man, you know, I didn't want to share this because they are, they were a very bad sponsor. But my gosh, imagine a game like this. This is exactly what Magic Arena would be like. One day or 90 days later, 100 days later, it'll just stop working and no one will know why. Then they will delete your account. And then, hey, it's back working again, guys. Um, and... Man, it was terrible.
Uh, I mean, you spend money on a game. I don't fire emblem, fake grand order. They have maintenance times, but they don't have like maintenance times of a hundred days. Literally the worst. The worst. Anyway, bye.